Hi guys, I just watched Hannah Hoffman's new video, link in the description, and I wanted to make a response video. Is that even still a thing? Do people still do that? Is this 2008? She's talking about fan communities and their responsibilities to the other people in the fandom and to the people that they are fans of, and I agree with everything she said 100% except for one thing. I was at VidCon and we were watching The Gathering of the Nerdfighter, which is a community that was made by Hank and John Green, and it was filled with lots of surprises and cool announcements and a lot of other things that I totally missed. Why did I miss them? Well, because the show directly after that was a panel called The First Time I Hit Upload, which was going to have Dan and Phil on it. And the entire time that I was trying to watch A Gathering of the Nerdfighters, there were little girls and little boys, probably 10, 11, some 12, 13, walking and running up and down the aisles, trying to find empty seats for the next panel, which started in an hour and a half. They all had Dan and Phil t-shirts on, they had flower crowns on. I know my people when I see them. It was embarrassing. They were talking, they were laughing, they were screaming. I couldn't hear John and Hank half the time. And when I could hear them, I couldn't see them because the fangirls were standing right in front of me. I don't blame them as much as I blame their parents. I do think that 10, 11, and 12 is old enough to be responsible and to act maturely. I agree with Hannah on that. But to go to VidCon at that age, you have to have a chaperone. Where were the chaperones? How can you expect somebody to know what good, normal, socially acceptable behavior is if you don't model it to them? If you're sitting in the parents' lounge and your kids are running around disturbing a concert and you don't even know that it's happening, how can you teach them? How can they learn? How do they know any better? So that's the only point that I disagree with Hannah on is that I think that you can be a little bit too young sometimes to know what the appropriate social behavior should be. And I think that your parents or older fans should model it to you. Now you all may disagree with me and I'm not making fun of or dissing fans who are 10, 11, 12 years old at all. Not at all. But I do think that in this particular case, the parents had a responsibility and they failed in that responsibility. And I think that that's an ongoing issue that needs to be addressed. Because there isn't supervision on Tumblr and we see what happens. And when it carries over into real life, it just magnifies that. And to me, it showed what we really need to do as a community to educate each other and educate ourselves and those of us who are slightly older fans. And again, I'm not dissing the younger fans, but I'm saying we need to come together as a community and understand what our rules are for being respectful to one another and to being respectful to other fandoms who are trying to enjoy things. So that's my two cents. Feel free to hate me. Please don't hate me. I'm very sensitive. Leave me a comment in a civilized manner if you'd like to talk to me about it and I'll be happy to respond. And if you haven't yet, why are you watching me? Go watch Hannah's video because it's amazing. Again, I agree with 99% of what she said. I just think that the parent and the older fans need to step up a little bit more to model appropriate behavior and to help represent our fandom in a positive way. All right, guys, keep smiling. Bye. And I think that that is an ongoing issue that needs to be addressed, period. Period. <laughs> what am I, dictating?